today we shall be dealing with the second part of the ecological succession that is mechanism or the process of the ecological succession we shall be dealing with the general process of ecological succession in the first part we discussed what ecological succession means what are the factors which cause ecological succession and what are the types of the ecological succession but in this lecture we shall be dealing with the mechanism and the process of the ecological succession before proceeding it is my request to you all to like and subscribe to my channel that is biolernia now the uh, one of the important um, worker who worked on the ecological succession he put forth the classical ecological theory and the scientist is the clement Clement in 1916 put forth the classical ecological theory, wherein he put forth the general process of the ecological succession, wherein the ecological succession starts with nudation. What is nudation? The succession begins with the development of a bare site. When we say, when we say that the succession begins with the development of the bare site that is a site which was not having any kind of vegetation before so that is why we call it is as the nudation it can be a nude body which was not having any kind of the vegetation earlier or because of the disturbance it it um, um, it lost its vegetation and is in the process of the uh, ecological succession it may be caused due to several agents this very nudation may be caused due to several agents and that very agents may be physiographic they may be climatic they may be biotic agents the second important process that is this is the first process in the general um, you can say mechanism or the process of the succession the first and the foremost thing is nudation that is ecological succession starts with nudation then the second is second one is invasion that is the successful establishment of the species in an area migrated from some other area that is called invasion so when some of the species they mi migrate from the uh, from the other areas and reach to a place which is nude which is not having any kind of vegetation we call such a process as invasion but it is completed in three steps that is the first is migration the second is acasis and the third is aggregation so migration it refers to the arrival of the propagules so when we say the propagules of the certain species which arrive to the nude place to the uh, to the place of establishment we call such a such an arrival as the migration and the second one is acasis that is it involves the establishment of the initial growth of vegetation so when these propagules establish themselves and they initially grow we call such a process as acasis and the third sub um, type of the invasion or the third important process or the step in the invasion is aggregation aggregation so increase in the number of the individuals when we say increase in the number of the individuals of invaded species so the species which uh, reached the the place and then arrived the place that is migrated to a place then established in that very particular area and then increase in the number of the individuals started that is we call it as the aggregation the third step is competition so as the vegetation that is those very propagules which establish themselves now they start growing as the vegetation become well established they grow spread and the various species begin to compete for the space that is light and nutrient nutrient space light and nutrients so with the establishment of those very propagules with the establishment of the vegetation with the establishment of certain species there is a competition among them cells so that they can grow and spread so they compete for the space they compete for the light they compete for the nutrients and this very this very phase is called as competition then the fourth important step in ecological succession or the process of the succession is reaction so during this very phase autogenic changes 
affect the habitat resulting in the replacement of the one community by another now what happens that there is a kind of reaction the some of the species they will not tolerate one another and they result in the replacement of the one plant community by the other so there are certain autogenic changes which affect the habitat now the habitat is not uh, is not fit for the growth of the vegetation which was already there but it gets replaced by some other community that is why we call it as a reaction and the fifth important step in the process of the ecological succession is stabilization so reaction phase leads to the development of a climax community in the last lecture in the earlier lecture that is the part one of this very lecture we studied about the climax community that it is a stable community it is a community which is in equilibrium so this very reaction phase leads to the development of the climax community now we shall be elaborating all these very five steps one by one so in the graphical presentation what happens the first step is nudation the second is invasion the third is competition and co-action then fourth is reaction and the fifth is stabilization so all these very steps they lead to the ecological succession they complete the ecological succession the process of the ecological succession now let us elaborate these very steps that is nudation so the first thing that the nutation because of the topographic uh, like it can be topographic such as soil erosion landslide volcanic activity it can result in the total nudation of a particular area and then there are other climatic factors such as glacier drought frost fire they may be also responsible for the nudation of a particular area then besides these very factors certain biotic factors can also be the root cause of the nudation such as deforestation agricultural practices our grazing epidemics they can also lead to the nudation so nudation can be topographic can be climatic and it can be biotic then the second step which we discussed earlier as well but we shall be elaborating it again that what invasion actually means we say invasion invasion it is successful establishment we say successful establishment of species in a bare area so successful establishment of the species in a bare area we call such a process as the invasion so the new species arrive here uh, from the other area and it gets established in three phases that the first one that is migration new species reaches to the bare area from the seed spores or in the form of the propagules they generally dispersed they are generally dispersed by air and water and we call them as the pioneer stage of the succession that is these are the pioneers these very seeds which are which reach to a particular area which was not having any kind of vegetation or is a nude area um, these very uh, uh, seeds or the spores or propagules reach to, to this uh, very particular area and they they uh, we call them as the as the pioneer stage of the succession they try to establish themselves then the second three second step is echesis it is the process of successful establishment then when these very seeds these propagules these spores they reach to a particular area when they successfully establish themselves um, and these species as a result of the adaptation to the new area they get adapted to a particular area and they uh, uh, they successfully uh, establish themselves such a process is called as the acasis so the seeds and the spores germinate grow into adult form and then reproduce that is why we say successful as establishment because they successfully establish themselves they grow they germinate they grow they reach to the adult stage and then they reproduce so when all these whole life st stages are completed we call it as the successful establishment then the third important uh, step uh, in invasion is aggregation so it is the final maturation or colonizing species that is growth of the population of each individual species and as a result species reproduce their number increases and the population grow denser so now what happens that these very uh, these very uh, individuals they grow in size uh, they grow in number they uh, reproduce and they become densely populated they become dense such a process is called 
that is aggregation now we we uh, we um, um, we here uh, introduce the term that is the pioneer stage now what do we mean by this very pioneer stage and what are the qualities of the pioneers which reach to a particular uh, particular new area particular area which is uh, which is undergoing succession so pioneer stage we should be knowing about it that it is the first stage in the series which is dominated by opportunist species so it is the first stage in in the among the serial stages this is the very first stage and it is dominated by opportunist species so the, what are the qualities which should be having which we, which a pioneer um, you can say species which the pioneer stage should have that is they should be smaller in size they should be able to survive on low low nutrients they should be having good growth rate and they should be able to bring the nutrients in the soluble form and they are not gregarious species and they are dynamic they are dynamic and they interact with other species as well so these are the qualities that is they should be smaller in size they should be able to survive in low nutrients they should be having the slow growth then they should bring the nutrients in this soluble form they should not be gregarious then they should be dynamic dynamic in interacting with other species as well that is they should be dynamic and they should interact with other species as well that is these are the qualities of the pioneer stage then the third step that is the competition and coaction as the species number and size increases it leads to competition among the members of the colonizing species for space for food and it can be inter and intra specific competition but we know that intra specific competition is more dangerous than that of the inter specific competition where in the choices where in the requirements they are similar so that is why the intra specific competition is more dangerous than that of the inter specific competition then the next uh, step is reaction so it is a it is a uh, it is between colonizing species and habitats so reaction is in between the colonizing species and habitats and is most important stage of succession the action of inhabiting species changes the abiotic component so what happens during this very case the species which are inhabiting a particular area they, they they change the abiotic components of that very area such as soil water temperature and when these very changes do occur they make this very place unfit for the existing community and as a result they are replaced by more fit communities that is the species which were residing earlier they change the abiotic components such as soil water and temperature of that very area which resulted in the uh, you, you can say which resulted in the replacement um, of them by more fit species the whole sequence of the communities that replace one another uh, in a given area is called series so this replacement of one uh, by another this is called as seer or series and various communities uh, they constitute the serial communities and one community replaced by other communities we call them as the serial communities or serial stages or developmental stages so each stage has its characteristic structure and species composition a series a serial stage may last for one to three two years up to several decades so they can last for one to two years or up to several decades as well so as to complete this very process of the reaction it is not it is not that the, it is a very fast process it, it, it takes place uh, for from the one to two years to several decades as well. then the last step in the process of the ecological succession is climax or stabilization so it is this very stabilization stage of the succession with the final formation of species so all the species are in balance so i told you that this is the most stable stage in the ecological succession all the species are in balance and they are not replaced by any other species further so for indefinite period and hence that is why we call it as the climax community or the climax stage so it is a stable stage it is a stabilization stage it is a balanced stage not replaced by further communities and hence that is why we call it as a climax community or the climax stage 
so uh, thank you very much uh, the, this was all about the mechanism or the process of the ecological succession general process of the succession next time we shall be dealing with the concept of the climax then we shall be dealing with some more aspects of the ecological succession that what happens during the hydro series what happens during the litho series but uh, for today it is uh, um, it is all next time we shall be dealing with the concept of climax